Hi, this is Remy from Kensley Fitness, and today I actually want to talk about why I invented the Easy Desk. So, uh, before I get started on that, let's go for a little background on my uh, fitness background. So, uh, you know, growing up, I, I, was, uh, I was a swimmer. I started when I was three, uh, all the way through college. Um, and, you know, because of that, I already had very good lat development because it's very similar to pull ups, and I was already uh, quite good at pull ups. I was able to do around 30 already. Um, and then in 2015, I started doing calisthenics. And obviously, because I was good at pull-ups, uh, it was more enjoyable for me. Um, so basically, I've been doing calisthenics um, for five years. And over that time, you know, I've, I've got to um, learn a lot about all the things, including the weight vest. And, um, you know, to be honest, there's a lot of things about the weight vest that uh, I just thought needed improvement. And then now that I think about it, the, the weight vest was actually, like the most recent designs are from like the early 1980s. So basically, now it's 2020, so it's almost been 40 years and there hasn't been really any improvements on the weight vest. And you know, there's so many things that could have been improved upon. So that's why uh, this was made. And uh, you know, just the first story I want to tell you is that uh, uh, you know, most gyms don't have weight vests. Um, but there's this one time that they actually had a weight vest and uh, you know, I tried to use it. And um, first of all, it was just a bunch of sandbags. And I, some of them were like missing, maybe they were torn, so they were just not there anymore. Um, and the most annoying thing is I have no idea how much this weight vest weighed. You know, it could have been 20 pounds, it could have been 40 pounds. Um, and then, you know, it was just all torn apart, had, had very little structure. And it was kind of like a, a, like a weighted blanket with just a hole where you would put your head. Uh, you know, and I would try to do like dips or pull-ups with it, but it was just, you know, it just shake everywhere. And, uh, you know, I just... Figured there just were so many improvements that had to be made, um, and I'm going to talk about each one. And uh, so the first one is um, obviously the weight capacity. Uh, most weight vests only go uh, up to about 40 pounds, um, and yeah, you, you can get the ones that go up to like 120, maybe 110 pounds. Um, but you know, those are extremely bulky. Um, a lot of times, because of those weight blocks, you know, they have to put a lot of them to make it heavy, and it would go down to your waist. Um, which obviously restricts a lot of movements and uh, those cost a lot of money. Uh, you know, they're probably three to five hundred dollars if you include the shipping. So that's that's the first thing I want to improve. Um, the second thing I want to improve obviously is the portability. Um, if you have a 110 pound weight vest um, and you want to use it at the gym, you're going to have to bring 110 pounds to the gym. And that's just mind blowing and, and you know, obviously it's, it's just crazy to do. Um, just carrying that to the gym will be the workout, right? Um, so that's one thing I want to improve and obviously with this vest as long as the weights are at the gym um, You just have to carry the weight the vest itself which weighs you know about four pounds and uh, You can get your workout in or if you have weights at home. You just you work out at home um, And we and we're also going to offer water weights. So if you're traveling you just bring the, the inflatable um, You know place with you and you just fill it up with water at, at the tap You know at your sink, you know, and um, you can get a workout in like that as well um, let's see, you know, I actually have a list here because I have so many things that I figured needed to be improved. Um, so the, I talked about the weights, uh, the next thing, obviously the short design, right? I want this weight vest only goes up to around here. And the benefit of that is, you know, you have a lot more mobility. Um, it doesn't restrict your movement, especially if you're doing squats. If you have a weight vest that goes down to your waist, you know, your, your knees or your, your thighs are going to hit the, the weight vest as you're doing squats. And with this, because it's much higher on your body, you're not going to have that problem. Um, another issue is the, uh, the shoulders weren't adjustable for um, a lot of weight vests. And with this one, we actually have tri-glides, so they adjust. And they go anywhere from 30 centimeters, the length here on the shoulder strap, to 55 centimeters. So that's, you know, uh, 25 centimeters or 10 inches in variability. And, you know, I hope that to make sure that, you know, that it'll fit about 95, 98% of the population. And, you know, if you are one of those uh, outliers, um, you know, you can just, and you, you, know, you order it and you're not happy with it, we can try to customize it for you. Um, next thing is obviously the, the easy weight adjustment, right? So a lot of these sandbags, iron blocks, you know, you have no idea how much they weigh. And a lot of times you know, they're like 2.3 pounds or something. And then, you know, if you want to increase the weight by 25 pounds, it's really difficult to do. You're going to have to do some math and you're going to, you know, have some issues really getting it to where you want. Whereas in this... Um, it's much easier to quickly, you know, add 10 pounds or subtract 10 pounds. 
and you can even buy you know the micro plates if you're you know one of those kind of people that really likes to do the the progressive overload in that kind of way. You can buy 0.5 micro a uh, pound micro plates and you can do micro loading, right? Um, and it's just much faster. If you want to take off 40 pounds, you just or 45 pounds, you just take off the 45 pound weight plate instead of taking out you know, 30 blocks. Um, the next thing is, uh, I think this product is, is a lot more environmentally friendly, right? Uh, if you buy a 40 pound weight vest, you're making 40 pounds of you know iron blocks that only work with the vest, right? And it, in, in, in my opinion, it's kind of wasteful, especially if you also include the shipping, right? Um, shipping 40 pounds, um, you know, it's, you're going to use a lot of um, emissions for that. Uh, whereas this, if you, if you don't have the weights and you decide to buy the weights for the vest, at least you can use that to build up your home gym, right? You can bar buy a barbell next and then you can, now you have a weight vest and uh, a barbell and you can add those weights interchangeably. Um, the next thing, obviously, is I want it to be super durable. So I like that weight vest that I used at, the, at that gym once. I wanted this one to, to last a lifetime. And as you can tell, this is made of metal, right? And hopefully that will be enough to last a lifetime. Uh, the next thing is, um, you know, just like a, a hat or a shirt or a backpack, anything you wear, if you're going to work out in it, it's going to get sweaty. And obviously you want an easy way to wash it. And for that to be possible, I made the, uh, the padding uh, removable. So you can easily just remove these velcro straps and it ends up like this, and you can put these in the washer, and then, um, you know, at this part, you just don't wash, right? And you don't need to because the padding is uh, underneath it, right? So this never actually touches your skin. Um, yeah, and, you know, obviously, if you buy an extra padding, you can share it with people. Uh, you know, you have a, I don't know, your girlfriend wants to work out with the vest as well, and you can, you know, have her use another pair of padding. Um, yeah, I think that's... You know, I have a list here. I think I covered all of it. And um, yeah, so that's, you know, there's a lot of improvements that have to be made. And uh, that's why I made the best.